uh, I was involved in a trial called the Ebbinghaus trial. And um, Ebbinghaus uh, was a study that was embedded within the larger FOIA trial. FOIA was a large cardiovascular outcome trial with a PCSK9 inhibitor, evolocumab, lowering cholesterol compared to placebo in patients with stable cardiovascular disease. And what we learned at these meetings from the FOIA trial was that evolocumab uh, not only reduces LDL cholesterol by about 60% on average, but also reduced cardiovascular events significantly and did so safely and with good tolerability. Now, the Ebbinghaus trial was, was smaller, was embedded, nested within FOIA in a little under 2,000 patients. And the question there was, uh, is there an adverse effect on cognitive function, so memory, um, you know, uh, executive function, tasks, organization, things like that, that occurred because patients were receiving this potent LDL-lowering drug uh, and or because they were getting to very low LDL levels. So, uh, so what we did is we assessed for cognitive function, uh, looking at it from different angles. The primary tool we used was something called a CANTAB uh, battery of tests. And, and this is a neuropsychological uh, set of tests. And those of you in, uh, in maybe the behavioral sciences or uh, working with dementia patients will be familiar with it. Uh, as a cardiologist, I must say I knew nothing about it before this trial. Uh, but it's they are tablet-based tests, you know, using a computer, and they're basically they're, they're different kind of games that we played when we were younger. Uh, uh, some are very close to video games. The, the primary one is called spatial working memory, and uh, several red boxes appear on the screen. Your, the instruction is search for the box that has the blue token. Once you find it, move the blue token off the screen, and then the red boxes appear in the same position. And you're told, keep searching the other red boxes to find where the blue token's hidden. And it's hidden in a different place. It never goes back to the same place it was in. And so then you can assess, you know, what kind of strategy is the person taking? How many times do they make a mistake and go back to a box that they already found the token in? Um, and so that's, that was the primary test that they can't have. Another one was called paired associates learning. That's like the, the game concentration, you know, the memory card matching game. You got to remember where, which matches which. Uh, and then a third one was just a simple reaction time. So you have your finger on a blue bar and when you see a yellow circle light up as quickly as possible, touch it. And, um, you know, it's a standard tool that's used in, in studying dementia or drugs that affect brain function and cognition. And then two other things we did were to give patients surveys that they filled out at the end of the trial and said, uh, are you having trouble with this, this, this? How does it compare to when you started the trial? 23 different questions. Things like, you know, can you remember things on a grocery shopping list? Sorry. Are you able to, to cook and also have a conversation at the same time? You know, testing divided attention and things like that. And then the third thing is we look for uh, adverse events and cognitive function that the physicians report. almost 2,000 patients, uh, and what we found is no difference on any of these measures between evolocumab and placebo. Now the trial went for 20 months on average. Uh, we also looked at patients who received a very low LDL, less than 25 milligrams per deciliter, and compared them to had patients that were 25 to 40 and 40 or above, no difference according to the LDL achieved or the treatment. 